Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is, why did I start doing a drum roll? Today's video is a Fenty Beauty try on first impressions review. I bought a bunch of the stuff and this is the look using all their base products and I have nothing else to say. So if you guys wanna see this Fenty Beauty review then, Please keep on watching. Hi guys. So the reason I look a little bit different is because I am dumb and I accidentally deleted the footage of me trying the primer and foundation. So here I am refilming those sections and then we will cut back to the original video. So I'm going to start off with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Um, this primer has a bit of a pink undertone to it to help brighten the skin. It's supposed to be oil controlling and mattifying but not like a really dry and chalky finish. The thing that I like about this primer is that it feels like you're putting on a moisturizer, but at the same time, it's giving you that mattifying effect, but it doesn't feel tight like some oil control primers can. It actually feels really, really nice. So that instantly takes away shine and just gives a really smooth base. It's supposed to diffuse your pores and help with texture as well, but I don't really notice um, too much of my pores getting filled, but it does give you a nice matte base, which I really like. Now, the foundation, I'm in the shade 260. This is one with, it's a medium skin tone with neutral undertones. I had a little bit of trouble finding my shade even though there are 40 shades. Um, at first I thought I was 230, that was too light. Then I thought I was 240, that was too dark. So now I'm on 260 and I think that this is the right tone for me. It says to shake it up before use, so that is what I will do. Now this does have a more watery consistency. It's not really thick like some matte foundations can be. So I'm just gonna dot this on my face. That looks like it's gonna be the right color. Now something to note is that when this foundation dries down, it does become a little bit darker. So just remember that when you're trying to find your shade. Um, I didn't get any of the tools. I just wanted to stick with the makeup products. So I'm going to blend this out with my beauty blender because that's what I would use um, with any foundation. So this foundation is a medium coverage foundation, but it is buildable. So if you do want to build it up to a full coverage, you definitely can do that. And you can see for a matte finish, it's definitely not flat. Um, you still get a little bit of dew, like a little bit of glow come through. Like it's not a flat matte that can make you look kind of dead, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so there is the foundation on. So far, it's looking pretty good. It definitely does dry down a little bit darker. Um, it does cling on to any baby hairs that you may have and um, dry patches, but it's not seeming to do it too badly on me. I usually have problem between my eyebrows, around my nose, on my upper lip, um, where I get my most dryness or rashes, and it doesn't seem to be collecting in those areas. And um, yeah, it looks pretty good so far. I'm happy with it, but we'll watch it well, I'll watch it today and then let you guys know how it held up on my very dry, sensitive skin. Okay, so next up I have the match sticks. I got the kit in medium, which has the colors bamboo, mocha, and trippin'. Um, 
these are, I'm, like I said, I'm sure you guys have already seen, but these are such cool packaging. They are magnetic, and so you can get a crap load of them, and they will always stick together, which is kind of nice. Okay, so the color Bamboo is the yellow-toned one that you're supposed to use to brighten and conceal. I don't know how great this is going to be as a concealer, but I am going to try it as one. So I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. Now, right off the bat, it does feel a little bit dry because um, it, it tugs on your skin just a tad. So a way to move around at that is just to try to melt it on top of your hand first and then put it on your skin and that should give you a more smooth application. Um, like with everything else, I'm going to blend this with my beauty blender and I'm not putting, um, I'm not placing the product everywhere first and then uh, blending it out just because I don't want it to dry up on my skin and then be harder to blend. So that actually blended out really nicely. It does a good job at brightening area. Um, if you really need something to conceal, if you have very, very dark under eyes, I would say probably go in with a concealer first and then use this to kind of brighten the area. So I am going to use this as a highlighter. So I'm gonna take it on my forehead, down the nose, and right there. I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender, just using very, very light pressure so I don't move the product anywhere. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the contour stick. This is the color Mocha. This is a really nice color for contouring because it does have that gray undertone, which is perfect for making a shadow. So I'm just going to place it, again, working in sections. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that out. I'm noticing that this contour stick is a little bit harder to blend out um, compared to the matte highlight, but it gets there in the end. So there's one side with the contour on. It's actually really pretty. So I am going to also take that color around the forehead and I'm just going to blend it back like this into the hairline. Okay, so Trippin is supposed to be the um, highlight color. These are such bad swatches. Um, Trippin is right there. I feel like that wouldn't really be a highlight color on me. It looks more like a blush, so... <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is put Trippin on my Beauty Blender on the butt of it. And I'm kind of going to use it in my blush area. Just because I do have another highlight to play with. So... Let's see how this works as a blush. Um, I don't see anything. Do you guys see something? There we go. Getting some pigment right here. So that is all the color I could get out of Trippin. I put it on my Beauty Blender and tried it and also put it directly on my face. Um, I don't see myself using this very much. It doesn't show up very much as a blush and it's just not the right color for me to highlight with. So I think out of all the matchsticks, Trippin is probably my least favorite. Okay, now for the most exciting part. We have the Kilowatt highlighters. I got the colors Mean Money and Hustla Baby. These are really nice. They feel really heavy don't feel cheap at all and one side is a little bit more glittery and the other is a little more subtle so I think what I'm gonna do is use the subtle side first and maybe then top it with the other one 
So the subtle side is mean money, I believe. Unless I'm reading it backwards. I'm to kind of taking it up to my temple and down like that to kind of cup the cheek. That's actually really pretty. That's just more like a really pretty daytime highlight. You know, when you don't want to go cray cray with the highlight. I really wanted the yellow one, um, but I was like thinking to myself, where the hell would I wear such a gold highlight? You know? Like, when? When would I do that? I don't even grow, go out. I'm like the most boring person on planet Earth. So now I'm going to go, okay, let's just show you guys. So that's that one. It's really, really subtle, but I like it. Um, now I'm going to go over it with the more glittery one. Oh, yeah. That definitely takes it up 15 notches. That's how it looks. It's so beautiful. Let's put on more. Okay, I think that's all the Fenty Beauty stuff that I have. What was that? I wanted to use a new lip product as well. This is one of the Bite Beauty liquefied lipsticks. I have the color Brazed, which is such a beautiful, I don't even know how I would describe it. I can't describe colors, but I'm just going to put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Before we leave, really, really, really quickly, last thoughts. Um, primer is really nice. I didn't see anything life-changing with it. I am going to watch the makeup throughout the day and see how um, it controls the oil. But so far, it's really nice. It gives a really beautiful canvas to put foundation on. Um, the foundation, I'm really surprised that I like. Um, like I've said 273 times, I have dry skin and this is not accentuating my dry patches. It's not giving me a flat finish. I feel like my skin still looks glowy and healthy and it's nice. Um, matchsticks, I'm a little bit iffy about. I like it as a brightener the matte concealer is nice um i don't know if i would actually replace it for concealer because it's not i just don't feel like it's as good as an actual concealer um the contour stick is really pretty it gives you a really nice natural shadow calm down i'm getting too excited gives a really beautiful shadow and i like how that blended out the highlight one in Trippin, I don't like. It doesn't really show up on my skin. I don't know if I should use it as a blush, a highlighter, something else. I don't know, so I don't really like that. Um, the highlight I really like. I like both sides. I like how you can make it subtle or you can make it more bam bam if that's what you're going for. This is not Fenty Beauty, but real quick, these very pretty. These very, very pretty. But yeah, you guys, that is the video. I hope you guys really liked it. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.